Alrighty. Oh, jeez, excuse me. Um, okay, so this might either be a screen recording, I have no idea. Uh, this is currently the only kind of upload that will be probably uploaded to the channel for a long time. I don't want to say this is me returning, because it really kind of isn't. This is... This is essentially me saying a bit of what's going on. Not exactly a full return. So, a lot of the channel moderation stuff, there hasn't been much going on behind the scenes. It's been very minor. Um, to the people that have joined the Discord server I'm with, we've switched to mostly DayZ stuff. I'm not, like, 100% sure on if I want to start one that focuses on the channel and other games. But, I haven't felt motivated to do anything. Um, other than play Minecraft, this world has been called 100 Days. I gave myself 100 Days on here. Not in the real world, in Minecraft, to do whatever. This is purely what I've been doing behind the scenes. I haven't even bothered. I have games that are on the list of stuff that I want to do that I've yet to ever actually do. I have gotten so many story games to actually use predominantly on the channel and make content with that the initiative and drive of producing said content if I could disable the music I would but you know I can't um as I said, we had to say, we're, you know, basically saying goodbye to a stream moderator. Um, in the next live stream, I may go into detail and explain that. Um, in videos, I, or in general, I come off a little strong. I can say shit that I don't mean to say. Per se, I get kind of aggressive. Or competitive, mostly. It's mostly a competitive aggressive. It's never really a lasting aggressive. If, like, you've upset me, it'll, it'll last for like five minutes. But the jokingly aggressive, I guess, kind of got confused. So, behind the scenes, there's been some minor difficulties. Um, to replace what a stream moderator that was kind of active both in the games and in videos did is very difficult because they left they left like an everlasting legacy per se that in its own, just cannot be corrected, I guess. It's kind of hard to really say. Um, <laughs> they did some things on the channel that were really good, and I really, really feel terrible that they have to go. But I know it was more because of me. It's nothing like wrong we're both channel isn't owned by anyone over the age of 18 <laughs> at 
me clear that up right now. It's not. There is, I'm not older than you might think. No. I'm just a bored high schooler who just start, who started this YouTube channel. I got bored one day. In 2016, I started this channel with the least amount of passion. And when we're teenagers, we do dumb shit. And I hurt a friend of mine. I feel terrible. I still regret it. I guess during it, due to conflicts that have happened to me personally, I didn't know how to handle things. Um, you know, the channel is kind of great to see flourishing on its own, I guess. Uh, I love the community. Um, you know, we all change. People change. <laughs> I'm not saying anything like, oh yeah, I did a certain content creator I did, or I did what they did and this is why their fan base depleted because they did something wrong that they shouldn't have done no I accidentally hurt a friend of mine and I didn't ever apologize I didn't know I didn't know until it was way too late Because even I have been going through things. I don't talk about them as much on the channel, but in older videos you can tell. I lost passion to do it. Um, that feeling of doing a live stream became a f figment of my imagination, essentially. I want to switch up in content, I'd like to. I'd like to be able to record videos and upload them as needed, because the streaming like what was before, as like a couple months ago, was different. I never intended to make the channel go anywhere. I actually kind of wanted it to fail. I wanted the channel to kind of bomb. I did this as a test for myself to see if I could publicly accept, or not publicly accept, but be in the public eye. And I can. I can do just fine. I'm broadening my horizons, and is real life takes hold and I get older I realize once what started out as a not high school project but something to go through with high school has turned into such a minor community that plays a bigger part I'm not going to quit YouTube but I want to say thank you Specifically to my channel moderators, those who are my channel moderators, you know who you are. I want to say thank you. Because you guys have been the biggest help out there. Like, nobody could do what you guys have done. And... Whether it's the most minor thing, it amounts to the biggest thing. It amounts to the greatest, most spectacular piece of art. And I hope that the people who worked with this channel and were my stream moderators, like Mint Raven, I hope their channel grows and flourishes. I hope 
the people who I've hurt by accident do something amazing. I'm not saying I never will, but I want to see them share that glory. I don't want to take all the credit. I'm not going to. The earlier videos, I didn't have a team. But 2022, I want to thank for giving me some of the greatest moderators out there. A team that nobody else could have asked for. Whether it would be a random 12 a.m. stream, a moderator would always be on. I always wanted to personally thank him. I never knew how. Until, well, saying it either to them on Discord. Or saying it to them on YouTube, in fact. I never quite understood concept of having what felt like an army by your side, I guess. I'm never going to be able to walk away from what they helped create. Because what they helped create will last a lifetime. I never intended for this channel to go anywhere, as I've said earlier. I never felt that this channel could be successful. I felt it would be something that, after a few weeks, would get stagnant and boring, and I would close it down and f pursue other things. In fact, quite a few people actually told me I should shut down my channel. This, this community in its own, maybe the dream for some, I wanted to be welcoming. That's why I started this. This channel was started to welcome those in. To be a, like a safe space. Everyone's welcome and there's nothing wrong. You can't do anything wrong. There are no mistakes. Only happy accidents, as Bob Ross would say. That beautiful picture that we're all wanting to paint... I painted mine and it was this YouTube channel I don't want to hit 10 million subscribers it would be great but I don't want to achieve that kind of popularity because I don't want to make money from this I want people to feel as though they're getting the raw experience. There is no payments, there are no donations needed. There's just you, the viewer, watching the creator. I want this to be like the modern equivalent of Bob Ross. You don't need to donate to the channel to make it be better. You just enjoy it. You come in and you join the streams or whatever you want to do and just relax. That feeling of calm is what I want this channel to have. I don't want there to be a big deal. I don't want the channel to kind of go crazy. 
I don't want a fan base doing irrational things. In fact, I'm impressed to even see a fan base on here, especially for the channel. More because I never expected the channel. Yes, I created it, but I started out commenting on videos. That's what I think a lot of people start out as. A video commenter. And when I started the channel under its original name, in 2018, it was something different. The channel had a name for a long time, but when it officially switched to being a gaming channel, when we made that jump, I knew something great was going to start. I didn't want it to be a one-man show either. I wanted anyone who wanted to join, to join. If someone wanted to message me on Discord saying, Oh, hey, I have a video idea. Would you care to do something with it? Like, if they wanted it to be in the video, yeah, they're more than welcome to. In fact, most of my community is more than welcome to join. If you are on the same platform as me, don't hesitate. When I pause a game, look for, or shows my online ID, don't hesitate to, you know, not join. You want to come and have fun with everyone? Go ahead. I never deserved the help that I got with this channel, but I'm glad I got it. I'm glad it spawned a community that never demands perfection, it never demands high amounts of quality, it never demands anything. All it asks for is just to be here. And that's okay. Anyone can be here. If you want to make a mark and do something crazy good or something that'll leave a generational effect. Go ahead. I always kind of took inspiration from other YouTubers as how they ran their channel just to see how they kind of handled everything. And their communities are almost like a whole new experience. And I always found that the underdog YouTube channel that never struggles to be the greatest can be something great in itself. 
I'm not saying, you know, go out and be insane and do something crazy with a YouTube channel, no. If you want to do something that makes you happy, follow it. Follow that dream. I've put well over 3,000 hours into Grand Theft Auto, and none of that content made it to YouTube. Not all of it, anyways. I never wanted it to. I don't want to join the mediocrity of YouTube. I like having a community. That I do. But the mediocrity of falling into every other category just feels weird. I want to build something unique. I want the community to sink their hands into this. I want the community to be able to feel that they've done something awesome. I don't want it to be hidden behind a membership or anything. I want it to run free I want the channel to be the best for everyone not for myself I want the community to play a huge part of it. And I want the feeling of you're welcomed here regardless. Because here is where nothing can go wrong, where there are no mistakes for being you. Where pushing the boundaries of tomorrow isn't insane. Push the boundaries today. I want to have the channel feel like the viewer is in control. And not in the way that, like, with certain games, typing makes you do things. No. I want the viewer to suggest the video. You, the viewer, get to suggest. What happens next? You, the viewer, are in control. You 
are the ones who make the channel. I just do what you say. The feeling behind everything, the melancholic feeling that a lot of people experience. easily be described as just wanting to feel wanted, but here, believe me, that feeling won't be something that you look for, you'll get it. I feel like with the viewers I've known everyone for a long time you're not that complete stranger feeling that most content creators get or feel or have it's for me that feeling of you guys have been here for a long time like a long awaited friend and I don't know how to explain, but it feels as though you guys started the channel and I just joined. It doesn't feel that, oh, it's mine and I take all the credit for it. No. feels almost like the community itself is ready to take charge. I'm actually going to bring back an idea that I had on an old world on Xbox 360. I have to go back and look at it, but it was the most amazing thing I had ever done. I had completely incorporated an entire functional base setup, all contained within a three-story house. Indoor garden, mine everything honestly I'm gonna build a bridge across this lake I wanna go and make this world expansive and open to the public You are in charge of everything that you do. The areas that I'm building, I want a member of the community, or members of the community, to be able to join this and build what they want to build.
I will actually be suggesting this idea. A lot more common. I want to take our last minute here to say thank you for making everything possible I want to thank the people that made the behind the scenes portions of the channel awesome and to that say be who you want to be not what others want you to be this has been a random moment with Angel come back soon stay safe stay well Stay happy, and most importantly, focus on you. You are who matters. <laughs>